In this video, I will discuss how to import a section from a DXF file into SAP 2000 using the Section Designer utility built into the SAP 2000 program. So what is Section Designer? If I go to the Define menu, Section Properties, Frame Sections, and click on Add New Property, underneath this pull-down menu, you can see we have different types of sections to be defined. If I click on Other, you'll see the Section Designer option. So Section Designer is essentially an integrated utility built into not only SAP 2000, but also CSI Bridge and eTabs that allows the modeling and analysis of custom cross sections. So you can see here, I can generate a general steel section, a concrete column. These section definitions can then be assigned to frame objects. So perhaps I'll define a concrete column. You have the option for it to be reinforcement to be checked or designed. I can define the base material. And if I click on section designer, you'll see a small program pops up. Now, perhaps I wanna include a steel column encased in concrete. I have the ability to define different types of shapes. So I can click the concrete column there. Here are all the structural shapes here in I-beam. I can select here as well. Have this encased in concrete. Now I can right click on any of these objects to get information about the object itself. I have the ability to include reinforcing and you can see all the core dimensions are included here as well. I also have the ability to generate any type of unique section. I'll just create a random section like this. I can right click and perhaps I would like to include reinforcing. So I can click yes to reinforcing. Uh, this is the reinforcing material property. And reinforcing is automatically added to the section itself. I could also right click on the rebar to change the reinforcing bar size, area, and or spacing. There are many capabilities included in Section Designer, including the calculation of section properties, the interaction surface diagrams can be calculated as well, and lastly, I can show the stress of a specific section. And once I click done, you can see this section, it can now be given a section name. You'll see it is now populated in the frame properties box. Okay, let me show you one last thing. And this is how to import a section from a DXF file directly into Section Designer. So if I go back to Section Designer here, you'll see there's an option for import section from DXF. Now, let's take a moment to see the exact section I will be importing. So if I go to AutoCAD, you can see here that this is a very unique section that will be imported into Section Designer. Now, one thing to note, when generating these sections in AutoCAD, they must be closed polylines. Otherwise, there will be errors upon importing into SAP 2000. Okay, I've given this section a name, poly section one. We'll go back to section designer, click on file, import section from DXF, poly section. There's a dialog box that pops up showing me the DXF layer which is being imported, the entity which is a closed polyline, the material of the object, as well as if there is any rebar included which is not the case in this file. Okay, so now you can see the section has been imported directly into Section Designer, and I have the same capabilities which I had shown you before. I can add rebar if I like, just as I did previously. I can make changes to the section properties. I can add or delete portions of this section as well. And any changes I make will be saved, and once I click Done, I can give this section a name, and that will be now populated in the frame properties box to be assigned to a frame object. 